Hey everyone, Connor here, and we're back with a little bit different video today. Um, since the last time I've had a video, I've graduated college, I've sold the cargo trailer, and now I'm camping in the back of my pickup truck. So we're going to show you along today, and here we go. Alright, so here's a look set up at camp. We are just northwest of Crested Butte, Colorado, um, and camping in some national forest land. So we've got it all set up here. Um, we're going to go through and look at the interior of the pickup cap, kind of show you how I laid out the build, and we'll go from there. Just to start, we've got a look at the top of the roof rack on the pickup truck shell. Here I have an Echo Power 100 watt folding solar panel. Um, I have just mounted it to some 2x4s with conduit clamps across the rack, and as, so far it's been doing great. Um, it brings about 80 watts of power in at full sun, so that's how we do that. Here's a little bit better look at the way that I mounted this 2x4s to the rack. Like I said, it's just a 3 quarter inch conduit clamp. Um, bolted all the way through on both sides, all four corners. And then this is a 100 watt folding solar panel. I've just drilled um, through the side flanges and mounted it onto the 2x4s there. And then here we've got the cord that goes down into the cab of the truck. And then it also has some longer cords for a battery with like alligator clamps. And now we'll go to the back of the truck. So it does have the locking latch there. And open it up. We can see in here, we've got the bed set up. It does have these sliding windows with the mesh bug screens on both sides. The back window slides in the middle and it also folds down from the top. So you can clean the back side of the truck window if you need to. Got some lights hanging up top, just to make it look nice. And we also have a light up here that came factory with it. So now we'll go ahead and open the truck bed. And here I've just built a subfloor used out of subflooring. And so if you can see there, that's where it connects um, and then it's got a piece of plywood that runs all the way back for support and then two by fours that run across for support there. And the sides, since we're camping here, I've just got my propane. And then I've got a fishing pole, some random things. Now we'll look at the drawers that we've got. So this is just simply built. Um, there's no slides or anything, we just have same thing, subflooring, and then 2x4s on the sides and 2x6s on the front. And I've just got it laid out with stove, random cooking supplies, first aid kit, pots and pans, and then I keep hiking shoes and a recovery bag back there. They are a little heavy, but it's easy enough to do. And this one I just kind of keep some miscellaneous things that we're using. Uh, Reflectix for all the windows if I need it. Camp chairs go there, tennis shoes. Just some kind of random things. And yeah. Here's a look at the truck setup again. All right, so one thing that I forgot to mention was this is a milliard trifold mattress. So it folds in three parts. It's got two large sections and two smaller sections up at front. One of them folds and acts as a pillow up against the ledge of the truck camper. And then you have these two larger ones. And if you want to store stuff underneath, whenever you're not camping or without being on the mattress, you can do so. And then it's just a sheet and a sleeping bag up there. So there it is, the new camping setup. Um, Part of the reason I went this route is I started to have less and less time to go camping. Um, I decided that whenever I do go camping, I don't want to be pulling a trailer. Um, I love the cargo trailer, I love living in it, but it just seemed a little bit more reasonable to just use the truck. Um, it's easier to drive, it's quicker, it's a little bit less on gas. So whenever I do get the chance to go out on the weekends or for a week here and there, um, it's a little bit easier to use. So hope you'll stay along and uh, follow me on this adventure. Thanks.